Hello everyone and welcome back to another a massive chess game from the history of chess, this time from 1990. And in this chess game we have Alexei Shirov, the brutal attacker, and his opponent is an unknown chess player named Jerzy Lepinski from Poland. And okay, so let's see what happened in this chess game. We know that Alexei Shirov admired Mikhail Tal. Mikhail Tal was his favorite chess player. He studied Tal deeply and then he played like Mikhail Tal. So Shirov uh, is an amazing attacking chess master. So this is one of his notable chess games. He has the white pieces and he starts the game with e4, e5 and f4. This is the king's gambit accepted knight to f3, g5, bishop to c4, attacking the knight and maybe defending the knight comes to mind. Maybe something like knight uh, to d4 but then maybe checking the king with the queen is on the cards checking the king queen to h4 uh, what would you do in this position maybe retreating tonight maybe retreating tonight comes to mind at least well alexei shiro castled he is sacrificing his knight and this is also known as the muzio gambit we have seen this many times in many romantic chess games. Mostly at the chess games of Paul Morphy, we have seen the Muzio Gambit. Also in Adolf Henderson's chess games, we have seen the Muzio Gambit. And don't try this at home, maybe. So black captures the knight, g takes on f3, queen takes on f3, and then defending the f pawn, a materialistic play by black. And Shirov is moving forward, e5. Queen takes on e5. What was the idea of Alexei Shirov? Well, basically, he is deflecting the queen and then he played another amazing move. He is throwing the kitchen sink. He played bishop takes on f7. What a move, what a move. Sacrificing the second piece, accepting king takes on f7. And it would be nice if uh, white could develop his uh, dark square bishop and Shirov is doing that with the tempo, pushing the pawn and also attacking the queen. So queen takes on d4 and blocking the queen with the bishop and also developing the bishop. Of course, the f pawn is pinned. We see queen to f6. What happens if capturing the bishop? Then capturing back, of course. And that's very embarrassing for black. The f pawn is pinned. <laughs> so, okay. Queen takes on d4, developing the bishop, blocking and attacking. So, defending, going back and not allowing queen takes on f4. Because if queen takes on f4, simply exchanging the queens. And black is a piece up, so black has two extra pieces. And maybe the end game is going to favor black. So, Shiro doesn't want the end game. He captured on f4 with the bishop, bishop takes on f4, king goes back and developing the knight, knight to c3, knight to c6, attacking the queen, a very natural move and also targeting on c7, so defending the queen, queen to g6 and checking the king, rook from a to e1, blocking with the bishop, what happens if moving the king? Did you see what happens? Then, of course, bishop takes on c7. Check, mate. There is no escape because white is occupying the open file. So, in this position, checking the king and blocking with the bishop. And now, Shiro played, in my opinion, an amazing move. Can you see the best move in this position for white? Actually, capturing on c7 with the knight is not a special move. Black can move the king. And then capturing the rook, but there is nothing special. Actually, white needs to open the queen, and if opening the queen, that is threatening queen to f8, checkmate, because this bishop is pinned. Did you see the move? The move is bishop to d6. And this was the move, and what a move by Alexei Shirov, sacrificing the bishop and threatening checkmate. Okay, so we see king to d8. What happens if capturing the bishop? If c takes on d6, 
Then check mate. The bishop is pinned as we talked before. So in this position what happens if capturing the bishop with the queen? Then it is very simple. We still have checkmate. Queen to f8. Checkmate. And in this position if defending the mate threat with the queen. Let's say queen to g7. Then capturing the pawn with the knight and the only move for the king. And did you see the move? The move is queen to f8 of course. If capturing the queen with the bishop then checkmate. And if capturing the queen with the with the queen, then we capture the queen with the rook. Bishop takes rook, and then rook up, check, mate. There is no defense, and black is getting checkmated once again. Amazing, isn't it? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Shiro plays in the style of romantic chess. What a beautiful chess game. So, in this position, we see bishop to d6, and did you consider bishop to d6? This was the move, and this is, I believe, the strongest move in this position. So, king to d8, defending, and did you see the move? What would you do in this position? Actually, white has force checkmate. The move is queen to f8 by Alexei Shirov. What a move, and what a move. Capturing the queen. I think in this position, if we, if we block with the queen, then capturing the pawn, and this is also a checkmate, because there is no escape, as you can see. Checkmate. So, checking the king with the queen, bishop takes on f8, and shiro plate, bishop takes on c7, deflecting the bishop, and checkmating the king. Checkmate. What an amazing chess game by Alexei Shirov. It was simply brutal and amazing. He attacked his opponent just like the romantic chess masters from 1850s. And this chess game was played in 1990. Uh, okay, so I think this is one of the immortal chess games in the history of chess. An unforgettable chess game, a beautiful romantic chess game. I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.